Hello, everyone. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can integrate Maester with GitHub Actions. Maester is a PowerShell based test automation framework that helps you stay in control of your Microsoft security configuration. You can read all about it on maester.dev. And here today I want to show you how to integrate it with GitHub Actions. So this is well documented, but I wanted to show you so perhaps you can learn quicker. Um, and I want to show you that this is by far the easiest way to set it up and you can automate uh, the use of Maester. So what you need is of course a GitHub account at github.com, I'm already signed in. And first thing we need to create a new repository and import that from the Maester test repository. So here you can see, we need to fill in the URL. I'm going to copy that, paste it in here. Uh, this can, um, we can leave this as default and we need to create a new repository name for ourselves. It is still available and we want to make it private. So then uh, we import this. Uh, this might take a while maybe a minute or so. So in the meantime, we're gonna uh, check check out what the next step is going to be. So we need to set up this GitHub action workflow. And we have basically two methods that we can use to authenticate. The first one, which is the recommended ways to use workload identity, identity federation, but this, that requires a uh, Azure subscription. We're gonna use the client secret. So in order to do that, we need to create an app registration. So we're gonna head over to the Entra Admin Center. I already created this app registration. You can create an app registration from here. Just cl click create new app registration. The first thing that we need to do is to add specific API permissions. So we're gonna add uh, the API permissions and then grant admin consent, uh, which is all outlined in the documentation. That should not be too hard. Uh, the second thing that is that we need to do is create a uh, new client secret. So I create a new client secret over here, new client secret. Um, let's copy this value over here and hit add. So now we need to copy the value. If you don't do this right away, it will be hidden. So um, we are going to copy this to the clipboard. So we have our um, uh, app registration in place, the API, API permissions are set and we have uh, created a new secret which we have copied to the clipboard. Now we click on the overview page because here's the information that we need to feed into GitHub Actions. So we are waiting for this to finish, shouldn't take too long. So the next step should be that we um, into the GitHub repository, go to settings. There it is, perfect timing. And we need to go to security. And then we need to go to secrets and variables. Then on actions, we and need to create a new repository secret. The first one is going to be the secret that we just created. And here is the name. And they should exactly match, so please copy and paste. Also, the uh, client ID that we need to create, and the client ID can be found here on the overview page of your app registration. So here's the application slash client ID. You can copy and paste. There it is. And the last thing that we need is the Azure ID and the Azure tenant ID. So let's create a new one. And it's, this one can also be found on the overview page. It is right here, directory tenant ID. Let's copy that and paste it in here. So the next thing that we need to check is that the uh, actions are all enabled. So we go to actions and make sure that this setting is enabled. That's already there. So let's hit save. Now we need to open the repository and go to actions. We're gonna skip this and set up a workflow ourselves. And here we basically need to copy this payload 
into here. And then we should save the workflow and we can just run this GitHub action. So let's commit the changes, commit it. There we go. So now we manually going to run the tests. So we are open the test repository and go to actions. So again, back to actions. And now from the left pane, we can find the daily tests. We can now hit run workflow from here. So the workflow run was successfully requested. It's now going to run. Shouldn't take too long. So let's wait for it to, uh, to, to finish. And then we're going to take a look at the test results. So the action is completed. We can see all the results down here, as well as a more detailed explanation of all the tests. And here we can also find the test results, which we can then open. And open the HTML file. And there you go, you can view the uh, major test results in HTML. So that's basically it. So please go ahead, check out the documentation. And I hope uh, you learned a thing or two today uh, from this uh, tutorial. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye.